Mario, stop playing your DS. We've got stuff to do. Mario. No, it's still, it just looks like a book to me. Is it a book? It's a book. It's oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's right. right it's a sticker book. I'm, like, sitting way far away. <laughs> Mario, stop reading. Fine. I won't be creative anymore. You can read later. Now we've got worlds to save. But I well, will go into Outlook Point. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario Sticker Star. We've got some things to do. Outlook Point is the area where we can finally, finally, buy those mysterious doors. Mysterious or? Doors. Oh, the doors. Oh, okay. So this is where you get them. <laughs> Welcome. Heads up. You can't buy secret door stickers anywhere but here. That's called a monopoly, baby. That's illegal, and I should shoot you now for it. W what? It's, a, it's illegal in the States. I don't know if the Mushroom Kingdom cares. Um, I'm gonna shoot him anyway, so I can just steal his whole stock. Okay, that's your prerogative. That is my prerogative. Gonna sell off some stickers that I don't need to get. Some room for a few secret doors. Don't know why I call them mystery doors, but I did, and that's what we all have to live with. It's a mystery to everyone. I'm just gonna keep singing off key for no reason other than just to do it. And now I'm gonna sort my sticker area so I can make sure I can fit a couple in here. Because I'm gonna need quite a few for various things and stuff. I like how that wiggler jumps into your pocket. Yeah, I don't get it either. It's like, no, pulled up, can't be out here right now. And just real quick, not only can the doors be used as uh, on-field stickers to show the secret doors, but you can actually use them in battle. They, hmm. allow, you, they allow you to run away forever. Well, like, yeah, like you don't have to do the runaway game. All you can just do is just use the door and leave. Well, not that bad. There's also a thing sling back here, so you don't have to go back to town to, fl uh, to sling your things. That's nice. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. <gasps> <laughs> and that's about all you can do here, though. Oh, well, there is a door. Yep. So we can use one of these stickers right away. Yep, one of our first secret doors. Secret doors. I suppose at some point we're gonna have to we're going to want to go back to the previous worlds and get the secret doors. Yes, yeah. we will. Look at all that water. We get the fish hook that was told to us that was on a ship that sank. That was terrifying. We'll probably get it we we'll probably use it at some point. Why is the fish hook terrifying? Everything is terrifying when the world is made of paper. Especially when it's a fish hook that can go right through the paper. I don't know, man. Fish hooks are terrifying to real people. You ever get one stuck in your fingers? Thank goodness, no. I have. It ain't a picnic, I can tell you that much. Yeah. I've been exceptionally careful about it. Is that oil? That is where the poison's coming from. Oh. So it's oil. Frack you. <laughs> but I can't hear anything because I don't have ears. That's a skull joke. <laughs> that was poetic. This this guy is the weird one. Oh, he's that guy. Yeah, he he's the he's the toad that is in tune with nature, and he's just weird about it. It's like weird by our standards, but perfectly fine by his standards. He is the weird one. Why is the T in that capitalized? Ever toadful. Yeah, whatever. I like trees, they're pretty great. As long as they don't come to life. 
So he's, a, he's angry. Yeah, he's pretty pissed off about this whole thing. <laughs> All right, I'm tired. <laughs> okay, so with that, have we now covered everything there is to cover here? Yep, that's it. All right. That's three six done, and then the thing flips on us. Oh, um, what was that about the diary? Yeah, the Wiggler entries. Yeah. There was one in 3-6, if you wanted to cover that at some point. I believe that was it. Oh, that was it? Yeah. Okay, then. It should say on there. Uh, doesn't say Jack. No, 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 on the 3-6 area. Yeah, that was it. Um, there's also one in 3-2. I don't know if she'll take us to 3-2. Oh, we can go to 3-2. Yeah, I feel like we can't, though. But it doesn't say anything about it. Or can we? Pretty sure that was it. I think we did it. Well, that was nice. I'm gonna hit this anyway for free money. And video over. Good night, folks. And then Surfshine Harbor. Yeah, she won't let us go there. Okay. So if we can't do that one, I guess we're going back to 3-5. Okay, so there's another one that we cannot yet do, so... It's like, I, I, I want to go here, but it just... She just keeps saying, we should just go back and give it to the treehouse and everything. All right, we'll be back to that one, I guess. In the meantime, we're going back to 3-5 because there's another exit for us to go. Let's go get that exit. By exiting people to death. With death. And is this one legit as easy as just walking up and getting it? No, you, you wish. can't. It's going to be something like we can't jump that high or something dumb. Oh no, however will I catch those leaves that I need to get on to get to the secret area. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, do you have to use... I don't know if you have to, but you can use a secret door here. Oh, I was just in the area. Let me go do that. Should reset the... Should reset that. Oh, oh boy. I knew they were all the way in the back. See, I was remembering something specific about this area with the secret door, and then I just completely blanked on it. Oh, a pillow. Is that terrifying enough for you? Betty by time. Don't know how a pillow's terrifying for you, but whatever. I mean, unless you're comfy as crap, yo. Unless you're getting smothered to death by a pillow, so. It's not terrifying at all. I guess being smothered is sort of terrifying. It kind of is. It's like one of those, like, you like to breathe. Now let me make sure you're not breathing. Wow! Yes, give me more fire to launch it, to cast everything in fire in this whole... this whole place. Okay, so from here we need to get across that, but we can't. We need to wait for the leaves to come by, I'm pretty sure. We can jump on the leaf, jump up to hit the blocks. And now we have to go all the way around again, so we can hop across the block to get up top. That's not that bad. Especially now that all the dudes are dead. Yeah. I mean, I should have done the coin blocks first, but I completely blanked on that. I'm good on stickers for a while. The last thing I need to do for now is to collect more stickers. And now it should be a simple matter of... Yeah, you say simple, but watch me fail constantly. Huh. Oh, thank God. Goodbye, Wigger segment. Nobody loves you. It's a little harsh. Nobody loved him. Ever. 
I said nobody loved him. That's a weird trade there. You got the tree stump. Heck yeah! We need that, man! We need that for things and stuff. We need that else we can't do the thing. <gasps> Let me go do this thing with the thing. Crap. Oh no, you missed. I thought I hit it, but it was that weird, like, I hit the side of it. Which apparently doesn't count. Yeah, apparently that doesn't count. Never counted in Mario. Hooray, though! Now that we've not only done that, we can turn the Wiggler segment back in. We've cleared up a sort of shortcut-ish thing. Which, I guess that's nice if you want to go up and get the doors. Yeah. But now that we also have the Wiggler segment, we can head back in here. Wiggler's Treehouse. Wiggler. You shut your mouth. I will mispronounce all the words unironically. Tip, 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 tip. Oh, come on, Wiggler. Out of the way. The poison from the ocean has flowed into the forest. This frustrates Wiggler. Wiggler saw a, water, a white flower today, and it floated away in a puff. That was fun. Whoever, whatever you describe as fun. Whoever drew these, it, they're just that beautiful childlike thing. I'm pretty sure Wiggler did it. Well, I know Wiggler did it, but I mean like the actual art asset for the whole thing. I wonder if they actually like went out and got like their son or daughter to draw, like a real young son or daughter to draw it, or if one of them just like grabbed a crayon and went, oh man! I, it's one of those things that I feel like they couldn't have done it because it's that artistic style of like, you do great art, now make it childlike terrible. <laughs> Not that kids have bad art, it's just that, you know... An experience. Exactly. They'll get better. I want this mysterious door because... Oh, I keep calling it mysterious, I don't know why, it's supposed to be secret. I saw the door before you, like, pushed down either side, and it looked like the bottom edge of it was curved. And for a brief moment, I thought you were putting the door on upside down. I want this one because... <gasps> we get we're an upgrade! That's effectively a level up! An HP up part. Yeah, now we got 55 hit points. Yeah. Look at that life bar. Look at that life bar with all that delicious yellow candy. Wait. I'm hungry. <laughs> I want candy. I want deep dark chocolate that can crush my head. <laughs> can crush my skull like a sparrow's egg between its thighs. Sorry, I have gone yeah. off. I have yeah, gone I way off. <laughs> I have gone way off script. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we're on a different. <laughs> what? What kind of candy are we talking about here, ogre? A lot of candy. <laughs> okay, that's one of the. There are four, aren't there? Yeah. Oh Jesus. That's one of four of Wiggler's segments. So that was an enjoyable romp. And in the in the process, we've managed to gain the thing what us what we can put down. Mario, do the thing. Doing it. Mario, you finally did the thing. Heck yeah. Unfortunately, you can't stick anymore because we don't have any more. But this should open us to a new area. A new area. Heck yeah. Which we will go to probably next time. Yep. <laughs> Heck yeah. What's with your heck yes? That one didn't make sense. This is coming from Mr. I want chocolate to crush my head for some <laughs> reason. Listen, don't get my fetishes mixed up. <laughs> Alright, and that brings us to World 3-7. Russell Burrow. I know that guy. Hmm. He's a dick. I feel like I wouldn't mind... I feel like the only reason it's annoying going through these to get the Wiggler segments is because the levels are all very non-linearly designed. Like, I feel like if, they, if it was a little more clear progression, it wouldn't be as bad for me. But, like, even looking at the map, like, we go to a new one and I'm just... What do you even do with that? You're wearing socks. I am. <laughs> 